again, I am Nomusa Taba, the wife of Indigo Taba, who was born a native of South Africa, was born in South Africa, and found himself in uh, political exile in the United States in 1964 with an, a play written by the famous uh, Alan Payton entitled Spononono. It had 22 uh, actors, for, all from South Africa, and was quite unique in that it was the first all African play to, to play on Broadway. So that was big, very significant. I met my, my dear husband in San Francisco uh, about six years later, and uh, we met at a place called the uh, uh, Malcolm X Unity House, which is a place of political and social activism and community. He was teaching his uh, native language, Isi Zulu, and I was uh, uh, a good student. <laughs> I was a very good student. I was also a, a political person, having come from the civil rights movement. So the merger of the uh, 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 U.S. civil rights movement and the South African anti-apartheid struggle, definitely there was a merger. There were other political and social exiles, uh, so to speak, because the Vietnam War was raging and people were either refusing to go to the army or going and leaving. And the, the climate was uh, quite intense in San Francisco at that time. The hippies uh, were there, it was the beginning of, of, of that movement, but there was a lot of energy going on. Uh, the Black Panther Party was recruited and begun in that area of the world. So I introduced uh, uh, Indigo to Plunky, uh, and the two of them were both high energy people and they immediately clicked and just that day started playing and ended up forming about a six piece band. I think it was about six pieces. I don't know how many pieces. They uh, formed a band and they rehearsed every day at our house at 1950 Golden Gate, which was a few blocks from the Golden Gate Park, which was a wonderful place to live. And we rehearsed every day. I cooked every day vegetarian food and we performed at local churches, community centers, uh, a club called the Both End Club, a uh, club called the um, Native Sun over in Berkeley, California, which Sun Ra used to frequent. Many, many people used to frequent. We used to play uh, we were the warm-up band for, for Sun Ra. And uh, we got a chance to do the Berkeley Jazz Festival. Very notorious. Because <laughs> this guy, uh, in the middle of one of our songs, stripped naked and got on stage upside down. We called him nature. He used to come to all of our rehearsals. We had no idea he was going to do something that bizarre. On that bill, I want to say was Alice Coltrane and the last poets, uh, but we got all the publicity because of this wild guy. And also we played very well. So that's, uh, the, the band stayed together very briefly. Really, uh, by the time we did this, I went briefly a year and a half. By the time we did this album, we were at the end, and uh, they, Plunky and Indico were both very strong in terms of their leadership styles. And Plunky had one idea, and Indico had another, and they ended up not being able to agree, and so they produced a song which we call Mad Mad, and I think Plunky calls something else, I don't know what he calls it. Um, but we both used that song to propel us into the next level of our life and remain friends until this day. So that's a real brief synopsis of Indico, Hava, and the natives.